Hi guys and welcome to Logic Language Learning. This is a video which is principally for Simon. So I've done this video in, um, in a manner of speaking before. It's to tell you which other videos you need to watch and in which order if you are, if you are starting at the beginning with the channel. So um, it would probably be quite a good video to have on the home page of the channel. Um, so I might do that. So basically to explain, when I first started doing the channel, it was, uh, so can I remind you, I am a teacher. I, um, I tutor for financial companies. I have lots of clients. The YouTube is not my main enterprise or activity. I'm really happy to hear from all of you, but it is really not my main, my main thing. That's why there's no flashy graphics. That's why, you know, it's very much about the method. It's not about having things float across the screen and all this kind of stuff. I have a full teaching timetable, as some of you who now work with me know. But I originally did the videos as a way of getting the people I was teaching to have some homework that was going to stop me having to repeat the whole thing the following week. So um, that is why the videos are in no particular order, because when I first started, I had beginners, I had intermediates, I had advanced, there were different topics that came up. Um, so I do intend to, I suppose, at one point in time, sit down and create a playlist that would be, you know, ordered. And I will put these videos on that playlist in a certain order. And that is obviously a passion project that I would really love to do. Um, but just at the moment, given that I have a 45, 50 hour a week teaching schedule and a full set of hobbies and a grandmother who's not very well and, you know, a, a volunteer job, um, at a kid's hospital. It's like, it's just not the thing that's about to happen straight away. So all of this is for Simon who contacted me ages ago, but it was just before my grandma got really bad. So, um, I got distracted because I was like, yeah, sure. Fine, mate, I've got this. Um, and I've got another video for it. And I couldn't actually find the sound file that I'd done about that. So Simon says, hi Luke, Simon Gray here from Australia. Just sending you your WhatsApp as requested via Gmail. Cause he contacted me via Gmail. Uh, to recap, I'm struggling with my French. I've just stumbled across your awesome videos, which is very nice of you, Simon. Um, I really enjoy listening to them. I just need some guidance as to which videos to watch first, because I'm looking at whatever, moving to France, and then his private business about where he's going. So, what this will now do is I'm going to talk you through the protocol, the order of what I do if I start with somebody who's either a beginner or an intermediate or even advanced, I then go through for in exactly the same order and make sure that they have got these things in this order my way. So, you know, um, even if you've done some of this stuff before, it's to make sure that you've got it in this kind of organic way, which rather than this kind of like looking at stuff, purely reading, not sounding it out correctly. So the order would largely remain unchanged. The order of topics I'm going to mention follows the exact order of the podcasts, the grammar podcasts that you can purchase. The grammar podcasts take you all the way through the starter classes that I give somebody. So when I work with somebody normally, I do lesson one will be on the same topic all the way through to lesson six and seven is kind of pretty much the same. So the first six definitely, sometimes seven, will be on these topics when someone works with me. And that order is covered in the podcast series, the grammar podcast series. So Simon, by no means am I using this video as an advertisement for those podcasts, but if you go on the podcast video link, which I will pop underneath, you will see people speaking about them favorably. And that does take you through in that order. I possibly could have found the time to say that to you a while ago, <laughs> but I just kept looking for this original video. So to start then, First things first, I'm going to read out the order of what I do with people. So I would do this. Subject pronouns. So that means je, tu, il, elle, nous, vous, il, as in who are the people that do above. Who are the subject people, okay? Um, object pronouns. That would be people who then do the verb at the end of this, people who have the verb done to them. So avec moi, avec toi, avec lui, avec nous, avec elle, etc. So subject pro pronouns, object pronouns, okay? And all the words I mention are search terms on my channel. So if you go to my homepage, you go to my channel, you type my, you type these words I'm giving you into the, um, into the list, uh, in, into the search engine and this will come up. Okay. And I will try and find a way of attaching this visually underneath. 
Um, uh, then I talk about A verbs, ER verbs, A verbs. Um, okay? And I would explain that and how to do that. Then I would talk about regular soft hard. So soft hard verbs are verbs which don't end A. So that would be, um, you know, like sortir, partir, and my technique sound wise for doing that. All right? Um, then I would talk about the regular soft hard. So that would be snake verbs. So fini, you know, finissant. Prendre, anything that works with prendre. Again, these are search terms you can use. Um, um, uh, twister, so, you know, pouvoir, p, pouvoir, but if you just type twister. Um, um, yeah, so they're the large exceptions to the soft hard rule that I would then do. That's normally what I would then do with the, um, the first class, because in that class as well, I would do a lot of work in someone's ac on someone's accent and how they're producing sound. So you might like to at the same time as that then, anybody who's watching along with that, type in a word like accent or voice or vowel and you'll get one of the videos which talk about generating French sound in the correct way because that's a good thing to do before you go any further. Um, lesson two then would normally be all the tenses apart from the subjunctive and the subjunctive past. Strictly speaking the subjunctive past is not a tense, neither is the subjunctive, they are moods but you know what I mean. So we would look at the passé composé, so the past tense. Words to Google, words to Google, words to type into my page, into the search engine would be past, passé composé, perfect, imperfect. So I would then say perfect um, or passé composé versus imperfect. So if you were to type those terms into the channel, you'd then come up with all the videos which are passé composé versus imparfait and how to sort of play those off against each other, which is a great one to have. Um, I'd want anything on the using être in the present tense rather than in, in the past tense rather than using avoir. So like je suis allé versus j'ai mangé. I would then look at the conditional, the conditional past, the future, and the future perfect, like the the uh, the, the anterior, um, the future anterior. So kind of like I will have. So in other words, by the time and and also the plus perfect. So buzzwords then for lesson two would be passé composé imparfait or you know, um, uh, past tense, perfect tense, um, imperfect, future, future past, conditional, conditional past. That's largely what, and plus perfect, plus perfect or plus que parfait. So again, all of this will be underneath in the description. I will find a way to pop, pop the tense text there. That would be lesson two. And any video that comes up in, in terms of jump, jump, joining those tenses or jumping around as in choosing conditional or choosing whatever, that's all great, but you basically want the videos which explain how to form those tenses. Because it all links. Don't be, oh, it's all too many tenses. You know, I'll just do one at a time. No, do it and move on to the next one straight away, and then you will understand what you're doing. Um, because they all feed each other. Um, I would then, in lesson three, I would talk about pronouns. So not forgetting that the subject pronouns we talked about at the beginning of pronouns, the object pronouns of pronouns, but what I would mean is pronouns that come in a sentence before the verb. So for example, je le fais, je lui parle, je me lave, that kind of business. So you would have reflexive, reciprocal, uh, direct, indirect, all of that kind of stuff, and that would be covered. So just merely typing the word pronouns, you would come to that. Like I said, again, in the grammar podcast, all of this would then be dealt with. And that would teach you how to place it in sentences with different orders, how to place it in, um, um, how to, uh, yeah, how to place them in different orders and using all the tenses with those pronouns. Then lesson four would be the subjunctive. Now that might seem very, very premature for some people, but I don't work like most people. I don't work like teachers of French in secondary schools. I teach adults. And you cannot get through a, a adult conversational French without the subjunctive. Um, so I would then watch all the videos to do with the subjunctive. Just typing the term subjunctive into my channel will come up with those videos. That would be lesson four. If you then wanted to consolidate what you've done before going any further, if you were to type in the word game, G-A-M-E, that's not on the grammar podcast, there's a video series of videos about how to test yourself and play little games in other words, when you take a person, you take a verb, you go through all the different tenses, you then throw in a pronoun, you go through all the tenses, you then throw in an adverb, you go through all the tenses. All right. At that stage, you wouldn't have formally done any adverbs with me. You wouldn't have done like not or, 
you know, never and all of this business. It would then be covered in the, the, the grammar podcast, but if you were to just be looking at the terms on YouTube, that wouldn't have happened. All right. Lesson five is um, what I call a relative pronouns. Well, they are called relative pronouns, but I call it the relative pronouns lesson. So that is very searchable on the channel if you just type relative pronouns. So that would be qui versus que, ce qui versus ce que, and then bringing in with whom, avec qui versus with which, avec lequel, and concluding in dans, D-O-N-T. So any one of those words so qui, que, ce qui, ce que, c-e-q-u-i, c-e-q-u-e, separate words, um, avec lequel, whatever. Any one of those words I've used just to describe that would be, um, would, would help, would find it through the channel. Or Simon, or anybody else watching this, it, again, the Grammar Podcast, job done, it would tell you them. In a much more abridged way, can I stress the Grammar Podcasts are not as detailed. Well, the same information is there, but, the, you know, they are shorter. So they're nice to have. Um, but that would come up. Or merely typing the word relative pronouns, that would come up. Um, I just need a glass of water.